On this final day of early voting, that most recent decision from the state Supreme Court only adding more confusion for voters during a busy election cycle. It is just absurd and frustrating. It's designed to make a voter fail. The executive director of Milwaukee's Election Commission reacting to the Wisconsin Supreme Court's decision not to allow ballot drop boxes past the February primary election. That's also saying that voters can't have a family member or a neighbor return their ballot in person. The ruling means after next week, Ballot drop boxes won't be allowed in elections until the Supreme Court can rule on the legality of those boxes statewide. It's all confusing to voters. It's all extremely confusing to voters. It's confusing to myself. There's explicit um, laws that say you shouldn't change rules in the midst of um, you know, a election cycle. So this just runs completely in you know, opposition to what is common sense election administration. I do know that um, they help a lot of people who cannot go to the polls, so they're valuable, so they, they are needed. Is that confusing for you as a voter? Yes, it is. I wish they wake up their mind what they want to do. So, so, so people can understand what the heck's going on around here. The voters should know that they can still use their drop boxes through Tuesday at 5 p.m. for the February primary if you live in the city of Milwaukee. Um, and then we will try our best to give you the clearest instructions for the April election. In Milwaukee, I'm Jaron Jordan, WISN 12 News. Friday's decision came down to a 4-3 vote. The Supreme Court is expected to rule on the future legality of those drop boxes soon.